Let's look at how to easily cancel your Apple ID. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Now some people out there may decide that it's time to move on from Apple and completely delete their Apple ID. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the repercussions of removing and deleting your Apple ID and how that process works. So if it helps, use the chapter markers down below and let's go ahead and dive into this thing. First, you should understand what deleting your Apple ID means because sometimes it can have far reaching implications that you may not realize at the onset. Of course, your Apple ID is tied to many facets of your Apple persona. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that you'll lose access to once your Apple ID is deleted. Of course, your Apple ID is tied to things like iCloud. So everything in iCloud, you'll no longer have access to. Things like your iCloud email, photos, backups, contacts, anything like that. Be sure to get all that data outside of iCloud before deleting your Apple ID. Any subscriptions that you're currently enrolled in will be canceled at the end of that billing cycle. You'll also be unable to play any DRM media that you may have purchased or rented. And that's everything from movies to music to TV shows to books to applications. So be sure you're ready to give up that content but before deleting that Apple ID. Even Apple Store appointments and support cases will be closed if you delete your Apple ID, though any in-process repairs will still be good to go. Apple clearly lets users know that deleting an Apple ID is a permanent event, so be sure you understand all of those repercussions before moving forward. To get a full list of everything that gets deleted when you remove your Apple ID, be sure to check the linked article down below in the description. Now, let's talk about how to actually delete or cancel your Apple ID. To delete your Apple ID, you're gonna need your Mac or PC or basically a web browser. We're gonna head to privacy.apple.com and sign in with your Apple ID. Let's go ahead and do that now. If you have two-factor authentication turned on, you may get an authentication code popping up on your other devices. Go ahead and confirm that two-factor authentication before you can move forward. On this website, you'll then scroll down to delete your account. I also wanna note, you can temporarily deactivate your account, which removes access to the account, but does not permanently delete all of your data. So this only may be temporary, you may wanna look at deactivating rather than canceling. Assume you wanna cancel your Apple ID, you can go ahead and move forward and putting in the request to have your Apple ID deleted. So under delete your account, we're gonna click request to delete your account. Apple will then give you a long list of repercussions of what happens when your account is deleted and give you some warnings and stuff to do before deleting that account. Make sure you read this thoroughly and then choose a reason about why you're canceling the account. In this case, I just wanna stop using my account and I'm gonna hit continue. It'll again give me important things to know. So I have this much data stored in iCloud and this many photos and videos which will be deleted. You will likely have much more in there than I do because this is just a test account for creating this video. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna give me the deletion terms and conditions again warning you that this is a permanent process and cannot be undone. I'm gonna to have to agree to those terms and conditions and hit continue. Apple will then ask how I want to get account updates. So basically the when you delete your account, you're putting in a request to get it deleted. Then it has to be verified. So they need to get a way to contact you to let you know once that account has been deleted. You can choose a phone number if you have one tied to your account, or you can use a different email address, a different phone number, or an email address you already have tied to your account. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose my email address. Then it's gonna give me an access code. That access code is what you'll need to verify your identity with Apple support. If you would need to recover this account before it has been deleted, so if right now I decided that I changed my mind and I wanted to keep my account, I'd have to contact Apple support and provide them with this access code to recover the account before it's been deleted. Once it's been deleted, there's no coming back. So take note of this access code just in case you have instant buyer's remorse. To confirm you have that access code, Apple will ask you to enter it one time before moving forward. We'll then get a final pop-up. 
that asks you, are you sure you want to delete your account? As a reminder, you'll no longer be able to access Apple services, App Store, and media purchases. You'll not be able to sign in to Apple services. Your photos, files, documents, all stored in iCloud will be deleted from Apple servers. You will not receive messages associated to iMessage, FaceTime, or iCloud mail, and any subscriptions will be canceled. Again, be sure of all of this before you hit delete account. And that's it. Apple is now deleting your account. It can take up to seven days for them to fully delete your account after going through the verification processes. But otherwise, you're done. Your Apple ID will be deleted. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any question on how to delete or cancel your Apple ID or what the difference between deleting and deactivating is? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos.